Hi guys. So this is not, this video is not going to necessarily be about knives. It's about something else. Uh, it kind of goes along with knives, but what we're going to look at is a friend of mine had a novel solution to a, a problem. It, it's not a big problem. I mean, a lot of people have been taking care of it, but I think that this is a better solution. It makes it a little bit easier. So what we're going to look at is uh, some things that my friend Pip Corona, uh, if you don't follow him on Instagram, you'll be able to see his Instagram handle because they are on all of these. We're going to look at what my friend Pip Corona did to come up with just a, a, a little bit better of a solution for a small problem that, that a lot of us knife guys have. So let me get everything set up. We'll get this all figured out and turned around. And I'll show you exactly what my friend Pip came up with. Like I said, it's a novel solution to something that a lot of people wouldn't see as a problem, but he came up with a way to take care of it. So let's take, let's turn this around. I don't want to give away too much. It's already in the title. So guys, the problem that Pip came across was, as you can see, I spilled stuff on myself while I was getting prepped and had to change shirts. I apologize. I'm a sloppy motherfucker. Um, so anyway, the problem that people were having, or some of us complained about, was uh, knife cases. And so you put your stuff in knife cases, and there's your knives are all different sizes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn around, we're going to look at what I'm talking about in my knife case. Because I have several knives that are of varying length. And so the problem is that they're not all even and you run into some problems. I forgot to warn you guys about the music. The music might have been loud. I apologize. Uh, but, um, so he came up with an idea which was, he has a 3D printer and he 3D prints spacers of different thicknesses that you can put in your case. So if you have smaller knives, they're not, you're gonna have to dig way down in. So what a lot of us were doing was just stuffing some paper towels or something down in there. But you know, those start to break down over time and stuff like that. And the, you know, you gotta kind of play it. Well, with these, you get different thicknesses to account for different, if you have a thin one, this and that. And then he also is providing with these I think there's four, four different sizes that he sent. A tool that you can just pull them out because there's a little groove that you can get this in and just pull that back out if you need to take it out of your case. Which, because I'm not gonna lie, pick and pluck, coming out, getting the pick and pluck out of the bottom can be a pain. But then he's provided this if you want to use it. What you do is you just put this on top. That way your knife's not smacking against the hard plastic. And say so have a spacer that's still soft on top but you can pick and choose and adjust. And I'll show you how it works here in just a second. I mean, this, like I said, it's a pretty quick video. Um, I thought it was a really cool idea. He's doing them on his Instagram. Uh, so Pip, Pip came up with us and thought it was a good idea. He's like, well, I got a 3D printer. I could do these and make them spit, spit specifically for. Now pack cases. Now pack cases are rounded out and clean. They're not like pick and pluck that most of us are using. Uh, they are a hard foam that has been, uh, I think it's a CNC mill or something, but at any rate, they're, they're already cut, they come in the case, and that's what these are for. That's what these are for, is that space. So hang on just a second, let me get everything set up, we'll take a good look at how you actually put them in the case. It's not, like I said, it's not that new of an, an idea, it's just a different approach to it. And my remote, I'm throwing that thing away. It doesn't work. All you're gonna hear is click, click, click. So click, as you click. guys can see already, I mean, I've, let me let me go ahead and pull out the, this, this, is, this is what I'm talking about. You have to kind of do, like, so I've stuffed it with chunks of pick and pluck down here because my Intact is the shortest knife 
in the, the row of things that I have in my Fair and Forge row, which a couple of them are in for, for maintenance work. So, like, basically all I would need to do is take a look at the difference between these two knives and pick my size that I want. I don't quite need that one. Probably that one. And so I'll just drop it down in here. So you can see that one standing up. And then you see this one would drop way down in there. So what I'll do is I'll just put this in, push it down. I can use the tool, push it down in there. Try not to roll it over on its side. I'll stick it in there and then I'll stick a piece of pick and pluck on top of it so that I'm not gonna be smacking anodizing and stuff up against hard plastic. I drop it in and look at that. There we go. My end tack is now the same height and I don't have to, because this stuff breaks, I keep having to add because this stuff gets crushed down over time. Now I've got a piece of plastic in there and you can do the same thing. Let's look, let's see. This is a small knife. This probably used a big spacer on this. Just stick that down in. Make sure it doesn't roll over on me because this is not the case that this was meant for. Push my pick and pluck down here, which is just about the right height. Let me get that in there. I think this is gonna be the only problem I have with this because mine is not a now pack case. It's not meant, it's not what this was meant for. And you can see, I used a little bit, I think that one's probably a little bit too thick. Let's go ahead and pull the pick and pluck off and then get underneath this thing. Pull this up out like, oh, had it, I had it, I had it, I missed it. Yeah, I, my case is not meant for this. This, these are meant for a now pack case, but we'll see here. But yeah, you can see you've got the little tool. So we'll go something a little bit shorter. Like that size right there, I think is gonna work a little bit better. So like I said, keeping in mind that this was meant for a different type of case, it seems to be working exactly like I would want it to. There we go. So now my knives, I can even out my knives. So the big scope of things, is this a real big problem? It's not. And this was a very quick video just showing the thing. Is it a huge problem? No, but I do, I will tell you it is irritating. It is irritating and I can tell you sometimes it can be unsafe depending on, like if you look in my case, all of my knives are stored tip down. There's a reason for that. Because knives like this one that happen to be a little bit shorter, if you put them tip up, and you jam your fingers down. If you're having to stick your hands down in there to pull a knife up out, there's a chance you're gonna catch the tip of that knife and cut yourself. I've done it before in other people's cases. So all of my knives are, are, are stored tip down. But what you're able to do now is I can, I can customize my case a little bit more. And like I said, this is made, these were made for the, the cases that Andy makes over at Nowpack, which are pre-made cases. They're already pre-slotted, they're already cut out, you just drop the stuff in, you just drop knives down in the cases. It's amazing, a pick and pluck is a pain. I do know that. Those cases that, that people would say that you don't need that, the pre-made case, I would agree. I would agree, you don't necessarily need the pre-made pre case. But people are saying, oh, it's a silly idea and you can't ever sell those. And I'm like, guys, these will sell because if you provide a good solution to a problem at a decent price, because I've seen the price that he's been talking about these, I think he was saying, I, I can't remember what he said for a set of, of four or five. So, but here's the thing. It's a solution to a problem that he did a really good job of coming up with all aspects of that solution. These are cut, these are made to fit the now packed cases, they still fit the two by four that most people are two by six spots on a, on a pick and pluck that people are using. And he's providing this, you can, you know, you could probably just put some adhesive on that and then make it a permanent fixture, but it's allowing you to, to customize your case even more. And there, there's us knife geeks, people, people don't understand us sometimes, but it's stuff that we do. Those are things that we do. Like I've been, 
stuff and stuff in there to even out my knives for a while. I ran out of stuff to, to stuff them with. Um, and so, you know, right now I think he's selling them in variable, various sizes, like a box of a certain, like a pack of a certain number of them. Um, if you know that you need more of one size, like I need more of the size I put in my Entac, which was I think the yellow one, um, you can pick and choose. You know what I'm saying? Like I, this knife, this knife is much closer to the surface than that one. I would use this would be the one I would go with. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do it right now because I am putting these in my case. Because I don't know if he knows this or not. He's not getting these back. <laughs> but yeah, I it. I thought it was a good idea, and all of us in like this Fair and Forge group chat that we have thought it was a good idea. And then when he he kind of prototyped it on his 3D printer, tested it in his now pack case and he was like yeah it works it worked great and then you know he was asking you know did, did we think it was a good idea so there you go yeah my knives are all pretty much even now that means that i've been able to take out a lot of that uh pick and pluck that i'd stuffed down in there so i just i think it's i think it's a clever idea it's a solution because like i said when they're down, when they're way down, when your knives are way down in your case like that, it, it does. You got to stick, you got to dig around in there. And especially if you're doing pick and pluck, what you're doing is you're tearing the pick and pluck across the top again. And so it just, it makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more convenient. So am I saying it's the, one of the, it's like the best product out there? No. Um, I would love to say that because he's my, he's my friend. Um, I think it's a very niche product, but I think it's going to... It's going to be something a lot of people are like, that's a really good idea. Maybe I should get some. So I'm going to post up at the beginning. There'll be a picture. This is how they look. They come like this. At Pip Corona is his Instagram. Uh, and I think that's where he's doing this is all via Instagram. So I will get a good picture of this and I will mention it in the description below. Guys, like I said, this, this, I'm, I'm off today. Uh, I am not doing anything. My knees are killing me. Um, I worked all weekend. I worked yesterday. I did some stuff. I'm still going to be doing some stuff today. But this Monday, I am I'm off. I might just be doing some. I've got to pack some stuff up and get it shipped. That's, that's the only outstanding thing on the agenda today. I've got stuff that's got to go to sheath. i gotta, I got to get stuff that needs sheaths done. Um, and there's some stuff i got to send out to customers that are done now that weren't done before. Uh, some David's... David Zeba is done um, and stuff like that. So that's all going to go out. So, yeah, like I said, guys, this is just kind of a, I, it, it's, this video was hard to, to really do too much technically because it, you know, it's just so simple. It's such a simple solution to what I guarantee a lot of people outside of the knife world are going to be like, it's, it's, it's a solution to a problem that really doesn't exist. And I'd be like, you know, if you're in and out of your knife case as much as some people are, it's providing you a way. The other thing too is those now pack cases are hard. And if you're having to dig your hand down in there, you can't always, and you're, 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 you're ruining your, your case. And so a lot of people put as much care and stuff in their knife case as they do their knives. I've seen some elaborate knife cases. Tops have got different things engraved in the foam on the top that Andy will do at now pack. And the foam is, I'm not going to lie to you, the now pack cases, I wish I could afford one. They're great. They have got much more dense foam, much easier to work with. They're so much nicer, much, much, they look professionally done because they are, and there's options for them. So there's a plug for Andy's cases. Andy does amazing. If you go to Now Pack's website, Andy has some amazing knife cases. Uh, I just, like I said, can't afford one right now. I would love to, that, that'll be one of the next things is I'm gonna borrow Nico's case. I just have him bring it and do a video about a now pack case. And then maybe I'll see if Andy, who I will probably send him this video, see if Andy is interested in doing a video about how their cases are made. Uh, that would be great. I know I keep telling you guys that I've got things that I want to do. Uh, the guys have never answered me back from Anza Knives. I have talked to Half Face Blades. I don't think he's, I don't think Andy at Half Face Blades has got a problem with doing a video. It's just that he is always busy. So. All right, guys, that's it. Like I said, uh, don't expect a lot of other stuff going on today. 
There won't be any other content. I'm taking a day off. If you like the videos, guys, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. Um, as always, there's going to be a link in the description down below for my daughter's ice skating. Go fund me if that's something you choose to help support. There have been a lot of people that have. We have got a lot of ways to go to meet the goal we set, but uh, you know, hey, if we fall short, we fall short. I just appreciate everybody that helped. Um, the thumbs up are a big deal because it's the most important interaction we can have on a video. And lastly, I would like to say if you have knives that you need sharpened or anodizing or things like that, my email is always in the description below. That's the, e that's the only way to get a hold of me. Just shoot me an email. We can work something out. A lot of times I will work things with customers so that we're getting the maximum benefit for all the work and, and trying to find ways to maybe not cost them as much because there's ways around doing certain things. So with that being said, guys, it's the end of the video. I love you guys. I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's going to be a few days before I get another video put up, but I, I wanted to do this since Pim sent me this stuff. You guys take it easy, and I'll see you next time. And it won't stop.